Greetings everyone, I'm your host Video Vomit. Uh, today we are going to do another Vinyl Variations. Um, well, you know, ever since I got back from Designer Con, uh, I've, been, I've been heavy, uh, heavy gunning for more Safubi, more stuff like that. Um, so, uh, you know, I, it's been a while since we did a uh, vintage uh, toy video and I promise I will get to that. Um, I put down, I wrote down some of the stuff that I have that we could c cover in the future sometime, um, like Kenner Superpowers, Battle Beasts, uh, Masters of the Universe, Toxic Crusaders, um, you know, Z-Bots. I have a bunch of stuff, uh, vintage, um, you know, v v uh, toys of some kind. So, you know, I I'll bring that in at some point. Um, but, you know, I, I've just been very into the vinyl stuff a lot lately. So, you know, uh, hooray to all my vinyl collecting friends out there. Uh, boo to all my uh, vintage collecting friends out there. So I'm sorry, we'll get to that, I promise. Um, but uh, for right now, um, you know, it's a little crazy in the bunker right now. So videos are tough for us. Um, it, you know, it, and it's also kind of a certain type of season right now. So, so you know, it, that's, it's just kind of what it is. So, um, you know, we will, pr I promise we will release more of that kind of stuff in the future. Um, so, yeah, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, so let's just get into uh, the Vinyl Variations Part 3. So, um, you know, uh, so Vinyl Variations is, you know, uh, whatever kind of like designer vinyl toy that I, you know, that I've been collecting at the moment or stuff that I've been getting, um, you know, through trades, uh, lotteries, uh, the mail, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So uh, let's let's uh, let's get started. So uh, first, I wanted to start with uh, something vintage. No, not vintage. I would uh, like this is a M1 Go, um, a Dada, and Dada is a villain from Ultraman. Um, Ultraman, the uh, the TV series. Um, you can totally look up uh, at, at all the cool stuff with uh, Dada's episode of Ultraman. Um, so this was made by M1 Go. And uh, I, did, I didn't talk about them in the world of Safubi, the very first episode of the show. Um, I didn't talk about M1 Go that much. Um, you know, I don't have that many pieces from them. I have a few. I, I, generally, what they made was, was vintage, like vintage style kaiju stuff. So, so the aesthetic of the, the old vintage toys, but kind of like with better tooling, better sculpting, stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of like a, a mock-up of, uh, of a vintage uh, esque Safubi. So it kept the spirit, kept the style of those vintage toys, but then, you know, added better um, molding sensibilities and stuff. So um, this one is actually a glow in the dark version of Dada. And uh, one of the cool things about this Ultraman villain is that um, he makes the same noise as the Toxic Avenger. So if you've ever seen the Toxic Avenger and he makes that ooh, ooh, noise, you can, you can totally compare <laughs> the, the two noises. Um, and also, uh, Dada has three different types of faces that he uh, that he puts out. Uh, there's act there's actually a newer Dada vinyl that Unbox um, and uh, I forget the toy play toy I think was the other um, producer and they put out one where you can like switch his faces. You can like rotate the faces inside of his head. This um, only has the one face, um, but I like this one because it reminds me of like Mama and the Flute Lady from It. It ha has like those like uh, Swedish kind of like art you know, house style uh, creepiness, you know, with the tiny eyes and the, and the mouth and the weird lips and the, and the narrow nose and stuff, or the bridge of the nose. Um, I'm gonna leave this guy blank for a little while, but then I would love to paint this guy like super trippy, psychedelic kind of colors or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. Very s simplistic, but um, very, very cool nonetheless. All right, um, and then, you know, for M1 Go and stuff, um, they have a, a site, but it's a Japanese site, and then, so usually when it comes to like buying, um, I can't get this guy to stand. Uh, when it when it comes to buying like uh, stuff like that that has already been released, I'll I'll, de I'll generally kind of like look around on eBay or uh, Vicious Fun is a good uh, site for stuff like that. So um, yeah, um, so let's uh, move on to the next one. So this next guy right here, um, right here, this guy. Um, and I hope I get his name right. His name's. Uh, Kukor, Kukor, Kokor, um, K O O K R R R. <laughs> a very simple um, name, and this guy is made by um, Zeng Yu on Instagram. You can follow him. Um, I will put all the if, if they have a, a an Instagram you can follow and stuff. You can I guarantee it will be in the description after we uh, post this, so you can definitely look up all these amazing artists afterwards. Um, but I just wanted to get into this guy. I mean, like. 
I love textured stuff, you know, so his texture is really interesting. And this is very, it looks like a marbled um, vinyl, which I've shown on the show before. But this is actually, uh, he actually painted this. This is actually like a very, like, it's calculated, but it's also very random style painting. Um, but very cool. I really like this. So uh, this kind of looks very phallic <laughs> with his arms, but, uh, th but it's not, they're actually like, uh, punching he's got like the, the his arms are like in the shapes of punching gloves So he's got this like big fat one in this long skinny narrow one which again kind of phallic uh, But uh, but he also has that like come on come on I wanna battle you. kind of <laughs> I want to fight uh, Look on his face which I love and I love that his horns are articulated which is really cool And I, and I love his like red mouth. It's just the whole like I like how simple and creepy it is um, but then it's just very creative. I, I, you know, when it, when it get, when it comes to Safubi, when it comes to vinyl toys and the art in the designer vinyl world, like everything is super, is just very out there. You know, because it, it pushes the limits of design for toys and, and and especially now, it seems like everyone's like, how weird can it get? How gross can it get? How how like rudimentary like weird can this be? So yeah, I thought that was really cool. And I also wanted to show off um, his. Uh, his header card here, but first uh, comes with this. I'm pretty sure this wasn't like printed. I'm pretty sure he drew it. It's like a scribble drawing of Kokor, and uh, it's in like red and blue pen, um, so it matches his colorway. And it's like on like a like a weird like tracing paper almost, or like tissue paper or something. But it's just like the devil's in the detail, man. Like all the cool extra stuff that you get with these toys, like that is really really cool. I really like that. So. And then I wanted to show off his header card as well. Um, I really like, it's like got a very weird asymmetrical kind of thing going on. Um, and then uh, it says on the inside here, if you find something, please do not disturb him. <laughs> That's on the, on the inside there. And then, you know, he's uh, number five out of 25, which is pretty cool. So they uh, number all the cards and stuff, which I did with my uh, Safubi release as well. Um, yeah, it's just something you do. So, so you know the you know oh I got the number one, I got the first one, or I got you know I got the last one, <laughs> you know something like that, which is pretty cool because um, then you can you get an idea of where it was and you know I have a feet like I you know these all kind of seem unique from his like Instagram pictures and stuff. It doesn't seem like any one of them is all is like super the same as the other one. So that's really cool. I really like um, this kind of like style of, of toy and I like the style of paint that he used and stuff. So very cool, really, really like it. So uh, yeah, we'll move on to another. I'll just start putting them over here. I have them all out here, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll get them off the screen afterward. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, so um, next person is uh, from uh, at toyboom underscore official. So this is a, a piece from Toy Boom, um, and Toy Boom is from uh, Seoul, Korea. Um, they're a Korean-based uh, uh, designer, and they, this Safubi um, is really cute. Uh, it's Kruki and Kimo, um, and uh, I, I take Kimo as a little man. It's hard to see, but he is super cute. He's got like this, like like. He kind of looks like a little ghost. He's got, you know, he's kind of looks really creepy. And he's got like these buck teeth and these like weird creepy eyes. And he's got like a scar across his eye and stuff. It's very, very cute. Um, and then, and then here's the the main guy, uh, Kruki is who I'm assuming that I, I'm assuming my my association with them is is correct. Uh, and uh, I love his face. It kind of reminds me of the alien from Mac and Me. I don't know if they, any of you out there even know what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, Mac and Me was a really weird movie. Every time Paul Rudd's like on, I think like Conan or something, he always shows a clip from that movie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, uh, I love his texture too. He's got like a really cool like lizard scale, um, dinosaur kind of like feet looking skin. Uh, and then it progresses like onto his soft bits, like on his belly, his legs, the inside, uh, on his arms and his face and stuff. It's much more smooth yet wrinkled and stuff. And like this color of the vinyl is really, really cool. So. Um, just like the Kokor, I got him uh, from a lottery. So you, so you enter the lottery via like an email, you put all your information and all that stuff, and then you get the chance uh, to buy one of these. And luck, luckily enough, I've been having some pretty good luck with lotteries lately. 
Um, so I, I, I was able to, to buy this guy. And man, I just, I'm, I'm really happy. This is my first one. So um, he's, this toy has been kind of picking up in popularity a little bit. Um, but yeah, I like the horns. Uh, I like the, the big ears. Um, just like it's the subtlety of the design. It's not super simple, but yet it still has texture. It still has very interesting qualities to it. Like um, on his leg here, it, which reminds me of the Jurassic Park, the vintage Jurassic Park figures, how like one of the legs is like all like ripped and you can see like the muscle and stuff, which is what you can see right here. It's a little hard, but yeah, you can make it out right there. Um, but the other does not have that. So it's it's kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of that for some reason. I don't know, maybe they were inspired by that or something. Um, and then I always keep my little dude here on his arms. It's kind of like a sock. It's kind of like a hand puppet or something, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so I really like this guy. Um, and then I have some some of the header card, and, and they also included some stickers. So um, this is the header card. Man, I love that thing. Super cute. There he is there, and he's like in a green color, and uh, and all the chemos around him. Um, is there anything? No, nothing on the inside. Um, but then on the back here, we have a, 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 a sleeping one, and then all of his information for you know his email and, uh, and Instagram and stuff. Um, and then we have... Let's put that right there, oh, of course. <clears throat> put that right there, there we go, looks great. Um, and then we have the stickers. How cool are these? I love this guy, look at him. This is his little head cut off. <laughs> it's super gruesome for how cute he is. Um, and then we got this one. It says alive and kill on different little flags there. And, it, and it's like little angel and devil little sayings on there and stuff, so that's really cool. I really like these stickers. Don't know, I, I'm, I'm so like, weird about stickers and putting them places. Like I'm like, I'm, I'm scared that the thing that I put it on won't last very long. You know, like a computer, for instance, every time I put all the cool stickers on a computer, something happens to it. And then I don't care as much about the computer as much as I care about all the awesome stickers that I just wasted. Um, so yeah, but I, so I have a giant bag full of stickers and pins and patches and stuff. Um, I should just like start like a little scrapbook or something, <laughs> put everything in there. I feel like that's kind of like the smarter idea. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, little, little Kruki here is really, really cute and I am super happy to have him in the collection. So moving on, um, let's look at what, who we have next here. Okay. So this guy, the giant D rant, um, this guy is insane. So, um, to those who know uh, this toy, you'll, you'll go, what the hell, what, that's not, those green arms, that, does, that didn't come on there. Yeah, so um, I got him and I just couldn't wait, so I started customizing him. So this guy is a work in progress. Um, I've yet to paint him, but what I wanted to do is I had some extra Safubi arms laying around from a previous custom, so I, I uh, heated up the vinyl and I, and, I, and, I, and I put in these articulated arms, so. Um, so yeah, now he has arms. He didn't. He didn't before, um, but uh, you know, I don't. I didn't want to take anything away from the sculpt or anything like that. But I thought, you know, I just wanted to do something a little different with mine. So I did. So I did add these. Um, but uh, so this is the the uh, the gianty rant from S at Snatch Punch. <laughs> so very crude, very uh, gross, grody kind of. Again, with the you know, with the this one is crazy with the texture. Uh, one of the, probably the craziest textured pieces we've had on the show so far. Um, so you can tell uh, this one has very uh, phallic type of nature to it. And then also, look at that, there's a big weird gross boob on, on his back there. Um, so it was in the front, um, but for better placement for these, for these arms that I created, I, I did switch the body around. Um, but yeah, it's, I just love this sculpt. It's insane. It is so like gross looking. You know, I saw this at Decon and I didn't pick it up then and I was really kicking myself over it. And then um, they, uh, uh, he hit me up on Instagram. He's like, yo, we're gonna have some so going up in the store, so be ready. And so I was, and I was uh, quick enough to get one. So, uh, man, geez, I used, used some of that hot, cold, hard cash that I got from d 
decon selling my own toys to buy this one. <laughs> so if you wonder where the money goes, this is where it goes. It goes right back into the into collecting. So um, yeah, I just wanted to get this guy because I love I love the design. I love his like big gross lips, you know, and his like teeth coming out. He's got the one eye. He's even got like his brain exposed back here. There's like stitches all over him and giant warts and stuff. So like when you paint this stuff is so much fun to like mess around with, you know, like directional sprays and stuff like that. I've been seeing people painting theirs um, and it's been really, it's been really getting me fired up to, to paint this guy finally. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it yet. I was thinking, you know, like yellow and blue and pink, um, kind of like this, the colors I always kind of use is like my own kind of rainbow, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I also have um, the, the pickle tits or the boss tyrant uh, figure. This is the first one that they did and I painted this one. This is a custom. Uh, yeah, I, I, he's got his like his arm there on the bottom and then he's got this other arm. Um, this one has four boobs, which is great. <laughs> and then it's got a brain and, and, and its spine is all exposed and stuff. It even has a little butthole. How cool is that? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I love the designs of these. You know, it's like super gross. You know, like it reminds me of like something from like Terror Vision or or Society even, if you guys have ever seen that dis horribly disgusting movie from the 80s called the Society. Um, it reminds me of stuff from like from that. So, um, you know, I would love to hear about where the inspiration from these guys are. It seems like, you know, they're like me medical mysteries or, or Frankenstein pieces, you know, that, that these horrible, disgusting creatures, I which I absolutely love. So um, I also have the um, header card here, which is, Excellent. I really like this header card. How cool is that? Look at that. Um, there, there's the there's the giant rat name there, and then there he is in all his glory. Um, and then like someone getting completely obliterated by an eye blast. There's a clean version back here. Um, so how cool is that? Look at that. Oh man, I love that. I love those colors, man. I, I should do like a weird orangey flesh and dark. You know, like what is that? Like magenta, almost purple. You know, that'd be really cool to do. Maybe, maybe I'll take inspiration from the header card again. I like doing that, where, where I'm like, oh, I kind of want to paint it like the, like the one on the header card. Maybe they'll do a flesh one sometime. I feel like this is, if there's ever a toy that deserves the uh, flesh colorway, it's probably this one. Um, so definitely uh, keep an eye out. These are all sold out on Snatch Punch's site, but definitely keep an eye out for future releases of this guy if you are interested. If this is kind of more your style, you know, rather than like I have a lot of clean looking stuff today, but so I wanted to gross it up a little by bringing this nice little giant hunk of cheese. <laughs> it looks like he reminds me of cheese, like I just take a bite out of him or something. He looks like a giant Cheeto or a giant like cheese curd or something. <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so now some of my favorite pieces that I've gotten recently are these. Um, so I got a, uh, one of these Astro Unkotsu from Gakodo um, at Decon. I got an orange one, um, which I have hidden behind me somewhere. But, uh, but this one here, um, this is a pink one. I recently came across this pink one. And so again, we'll talk a little bit about the, the, the packaging. You know, if you didn't see the designer con episode, please go check that out. I also have a uh, designer con uh, walkthrough video, which you can just watch, you know, the, the footage I took while I was there and stuff. So um, yeah, I put some music behind there and all that jazz. So yeah, it's real, real nice, real, real, real smooth jazz watching, easy watching right there, easy YouTube watching. Anyway, um, so this uh, is very reminiscent of the uh, Power of the Force line from Hasbro under the mask of Kenner back in the 90s. Um, right before Kenner took the big, um, they, uh, Hasbro released a bunch of um, super muscly looking Star Wars figures in the 90s and uh, the packaging was very reminiscent of, of this packaging here. So I thought that was really cool. What, like what a cool idea, you know, for your, for your minifigure and stuff. A lot of people have been doing like the, you know, the minier figures, the smaller ones with like cooler header card, like of reminiscent of old action figures and stuff. Um, so that's really cool. I, I showed that black ace that had like a G.I. Joe-esque header card. Um, but yeah, let's slip them out of here. Let's get them out of here. And then we can look at him. Uh, so he is on the smaller side, but man, I just, oh God. I, like I said in one of the last videos, I love mini Safubi, and this guy is like one of the best that there is in my collection, I feel like. 
Um, I love the, the pink. It's like a bubblegum color. It's not like a neon pink. It's like a chewed bubblegum, which is great. I love that color. And I love his like simplistic design. No, no leg articulation or anything. Um, but he does swivel at the waist and he's got the arms and the head and a, a removable clear bubble. It is a real pain in the ass to get it back on, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that. But I do have the orange one, so check that out. There we go. There they are. They're brothers. Um, I love the orange and pink together. Now, I think there's a green one I missed, so I need to find the green one. Yeah, I'm full on addicted now. I love these guys. and. Um, I, I, I just love them. They're really cool. So moving on to the uh, to the next Gakoto piece. Um, Gakoto made uh, this clear. So this is my first large Astro Nkotsu. Um, this is the regular version. This is like the, the guy that came out before the mini one. Um, and whoa, geez, whoa. Uh, just, what a cool figure. I love this guy so much. He's got that like uh, the, the absolutely awesome clear plastic. Um, I recently learned about how clear plastic is like, you know, uh, or the clear vinyl, I should say, geez. Um, the clear vinyl is, is you know, it come, when you pour it, it like turns, it's like a white color, you know, and then it turns clear over time, like at, while it sits there and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, man, geez, it's so awesome. I love clear, like crystal clear uh, Safubi. Um, and then, you know, he's got his like big bubble dome, which you can take off, which I will do. There we go. Take that off. And then you can see his, his dookie head. Um, so, uh, like these guys, and I brought it up before, but this is like the Mars Attacks, you know, those old comics slash, you know, I think a lot of people would be more um, aware of the 90s toy line or the, the Tim Burton movie. Um, Mars attacks um, like the, their their spacesuit is very reminiscent of that style you know with the with the ridges the coiling ridges and the boots and the in the spacesuit and he's got like this backpack that's like a jetpack looking thing it's really cute I really like it um, he's got like a little a little poop sign on his chest here um, and then he's got his big ray gun um, a, a like a whole ray rifle this time instead of the little tiny like handgun that these have um, but yeah, they, 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 they're reminiscent of the Mars attacks, but then they have the Gakoto twist that's, you know, their heads are poop. You know, it's a big, it's a big dump. Um, but then they have like the, the ak, ak face, you know, with the, with the teeth and the eyes and then the brain, like the top of the poop here is, uh, is, is a wrinkled like a brain. So <laughs> that's really awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm really super happy to have this guy in my collection now. Just, ah, oh, so freaking cool. Love this guy so much. Uh, I even like cleared out a whole like spot in one of my bookshelf cases things just so I could like put all of the, some of these guys together and like have them all displayed together. So yep, uh, super nerdy shit, but <laughs> but I really really like this. Um, I'm just excited that I have one of these finally. Um, I was seeing everyone get theirs at Decon. You know, um, I think this is a previous year's Designer Con exclusive. Or maybe this was the blank there this year. I'm not sure. I got this from uh, someone else. I shouldn't say who I got it from or anything like that. I don't want to piss anybody off. But but this is who I got it from, I, or I got it from somebody. So yeah, uh, I'll stop talking about that now. Uh, but yeah, uh, just very happy to have it. Um, and then also before we uh, cut to something else, I want to show his header card because look at that art. That is really cool. Oh man, it's got the like the vintage you know, like 60s style kind of uh, fonting and, and, and like graphical design stuff. So very, very cool. So yeah, Gokoto, check them out. You can follow them on Instagram. Um, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna try and get on some of their future releases, you know, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, definitely check out Gokoto. Um, I am thoroughly enjoying their Astro and Kotso pieces. Um, uh, yeah, so. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, so I got some real head pieces as well. Um, actually, let's do this guy. I want to talk about this guy. So this guy, um, this is made by. Um, here, let's get him in frame. Uh, he's a little tall for the thing, but that's okay. So this is uh, Yuck Toyko at Yuck Toyko Asphirius. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. Asphirius. Um, and uh, this guy is really, really interesting. So he is, uh, I believe he's a China, Chinese produced vinyl toy, um, or he was made in China. Um, here, I'll bring him up here actually so it's easier to see. Um, 
yeah, just look at this guy, man. Uh, so this guy was digitally sculpted. Um, uh, and uh, I love his, I love the like the simplicity of this guy. Like I like, I like simplistic designs. We'll go down here again. Um, for his like chest area, um, it's got like these tubes and stuff. Very, it's very minute, but it's also, it's very effective. Um, in, in, in how he's like conveying um, the look of the toy, even down here to the feet. He's got, got this like bug look. It reminds me a lot of uh, insecto insectoids, ins insectaris, that's what it is. It's like a, it's like a weird, uh, I think it was made by Remco if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. I could be definitely wrong about that one, but uh, it, it, it reminds me of that old toy line with the like the bug head and stuff. And I really like that. I like the head of this guy a lot. So I followed, uh, Yuck Toy Co's uh, progression of this guy, you know, and I saw his evolution, you know, go from being a concept to um, going along, you know, the, the production uh, process and into digital sculpting and, you know, like I saw the prototype and all that stuff. And so it's really cool that, that finally you were able to buy this guy. Um, so yeah, you can actually buy this version, the yellow version and a purple version right now on uh, the, the Yuck Toy Co site. Um, which is yucktoyco.bigcartel.com and you can get the purple or yellow one right now and it's actually for a pretty good price. So if you're, you know, looking for new Safubi, you know, on, on you know, like on the smaller, not Safubi, but vinyl toys on a smaller budget or something like that and you want to build up your collection, you want something bigger because this guy is pretty tall, um, definitely recommend this guy. Um, also, if you, you know, these are blank, so if you wanted to paint something, you know, if you're looking for to hone your skills with painting or something, I would say that this is a good, um, uh, like a good first outing of something to, to paint or something, you know, if you're, if you're, like, if you're not too skilled with painting or if you're, you're just starting out, this would be a good piece to try and, and start working on, you know, because it's like a good primary color and, you know, you can always work with that or, you know, if you want to hose it down with paint, you can do that too. So, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, um, this guy is available right now. Um, and so, yeah, I think I'll leave him blank for a little while, but eventually I will paint him. I've got so much stuff that I, that I feel like I don't have time to, to paint anything, you know, uh, <laughs> I feel like I have so much going on. Uh, you know, between the show and, 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 and working on next releases and stuff. So if, if I'm painting, it's probably painting something to be released now rather than just for fun or something. So I've been trying to do more stuff for fun and I promise I will bring more customs onto the show. I, 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 I've been meaning to do that. Maybe we'll dedicate a whole vinyl variations to just customs that I've made or painted or something like that. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Um, all right, and like I said, I wanted to move on to the uh, real head stuff. So let's do that. Okay. Um, all right. So here we go. Real head. This is uh, this is an older piece. Um, this is an older design, but um, I got this off of uh, Mandarake. Uh, Mandarake is a is a it's like a Japanese store. They're they're huge. You know, there's like whole malls that are like Mandarake. You know, they're they're in malls in Japan and stuff. And so they offer a service that you can. You know, uh, on their website, you can you know create a profile, and then you can buy stuff. And and, and so I've been trying to build up my real head collection lately, and uh, uh, so I really wanted to get a really interesting uh, real head piece. And so I got the ant android. Um, haha, it's like a play on words. Um, so it's the ant android. Um, and man, dude, this guy is awesome. I love this guy. So. Um, real head pieces are actually pretty tall, like uh, they're a good size, you know, the, the, these are kind of around like the, the eight ish kind of inch range, maybe closer to nine, um, you know, with his little antennas here. Um, and I really like his, his aesthetic, you know, this is like a, it's black, so it's kind of hard to show up, but you can see like the streamlined design of this guy. Um, I really like the legs and how they work. Um, he's, he's actually pretty well articulated, uh, for, for a real head piece, not too many of them have articulated legs. So that is a really cool, uh, feature for this guy. Um, and then he swivels at the waist here. Um, he's got arm swivels, which is pretty typical on a real head piece. Um, and then, and then the, le and then the head and stuff, um, are, uh, arms at the shoulders. And, uh, what's really cool is that this one has a glow in the dark, uh, eyepiece. So uh, you can charge that up and it has like this like glowing eye. It looks so, so cool. I love it so much. 
So this guy reminds me a lot of like a Gundam, uh, so like or like more or less a Zaku or some kind of variation of a of one of those from that anime, because uh, because of the shape pattern, it has like this almost a tri like a like a trident or a pitchfork kind of like um, style to the eyes, and so that reminds me of like the Zaku, how the how the one beamed eye would like pace around, like that was their way of seeing inside the mobile suit and stuff. So that's I'm assuming that that's kind of like the aesthetic. Um, that, that was chosen for this guy um, and then you can see like these these like honeycomb-esque looking things like is that like a mock kind of like wings thing or something like that I don't know it's really cool I, I I always like wondering you know when 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 I look at designs and stuff I'm like what were they thinking what was that not in a bad way of course but like what you know what was the mindset behind like what was the purpose behind that and stuff so I don't know I like thinking into things like that maybe I think too much about it but I don't know um, yeah, absolutely really cool. I would love to paint this guy. I would I would love to as soon as I, I robots are like my Achilles heel. I feel like and it's really weird because I meticulously plan out like color colors, you know, to make them like even and nice and clean looking. Um, uh, it, it's kind of like a compulsion I need to do. Uh, and you think that that would be really easy for robots because it's like, oh yeah, it's like two tone pretty much all the time is like the way to go with painting a robot, you know, like uh, purple and orange or something like that or like purple and orange with a little white in there or something you know but uh, but for me uh, I, I cannot do robots I, I, I get I get very uh, very confused and like mixed up in my head and how, how it should look um, I always really want to do like the the battle damaged kind of vibes too so but I would really like to do much more of a clean design for this guy I was thinking purple and something else but I don't know but yeah, I just so I really like this guy, and I'm really happy to have him in my real head collection. So that is excellent. I will definitely put more real head in my collection soon. Um, I'm looking at some auctions and some you know real head stuff online right now, like a, like a creeper. Um, so hopefully I'll have more real head stuff to bring on the show in the future. Um, until then, this is what I got. <laughs> uh, so we'll move on to. Um, this as well. So this is my last piece of the day. Um, this is a uh, from Nave. Um, you can follow them at Nave Tokyo. Um, and this is the Kataki Tomahawk version. Um, so he's got his little like designer tag on him there, um, which is what he came with. Um, and then, oh, <laughs> knocked him over. Uh, so th so this guy is kind of like. It's like a Punk Drunkers piece. I don't have any Punk Drunkers pieces. Um, this is probably like the only Punk Drunkers piece that is available to me at the moment. Um, I just, I also did win the lottery. It, I was able to, to get one of the Tiffany and Co uh, colorway versions. So he's black in like a Tiffany blue instead of the red. Um, they also just did a Ronald McDonald colorway and they did a purple colorway as well. Um, there's a whole mess of colors in this guy um, but right now I only have the red one so, um, so this is the one we're looking at um, I love this guy he's really really interesting um, so like I said before he's got the if, if you're familiar with punk drunkers if not you know you probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about but uh, punk drunkers has this like very signature mouth and the eyes and stuff um, so this is like a mech version so I it's like Nave X uh, punk drunkers is kind of like a collaboration piece I believe in like the aesthetic, the aesthetic and design. So this is kind of like one of the punk drunkers men, but like mechanized, like he's like the Terminator version of, 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 uh, of a punk drunker guy. Um, so he's got these iron tidy whiteys on, which is absolutely hilarious. I really like that. And his little butt cheeks, his little chicken butt. Um, and then he's got, um, this like, uh, metal piece that goes over and you can see the nave, um, design here on the chest. Um, and then he's got his like metal cap. Um, it reminds me of the dude from Wild Wild West. <laughs> he's had like a, a cap on his head like this. Um, oh, the Will Smith Western movie. <laughs> um, and then he's got like a laser eye. You know, he's got this like robotic eye with like yellow um, in the back there. Um, and then he's got a hook hand, which is excellent, which is very cool. Um, and then, which I really thoroughly enjoy is that these do have swivels on them. So you can actually, um, it's a little tight, but, um, you can uh, you can you can turn those uh, and uh, yeah so he's very cool I really like this like again I'm all about like the simplistic designs I really like those um, yeah he's just very like I feel like his design and his whole like style is just very pleasing to the eye 
I really like him. Um, he's been kind of like my traveling buddy lately, like my companion. I've had him in my bag, you know, everywhere I go and stuff. I've been just like, you know, going to friends' houses and stuff and whipping him out, and, you know, snapping him on Instagram and stuff. But yeah, it, it's very cool. I really like this guy a lot. He, he's very interesting. And I, and I really hope I get more Nave pieces because now I have that Tiffany blue one coming. So now I'm going to build out the collection a little bit, huh? And so, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that was that was today's vinyl variations. Uh, I wanted to just uh, you know, put, kind of get more uh, stuff out there, more videos of my collection, what I've been collecting lately. Um, you know, so like I said, I promise I will get more of that vintage uh, stuff up pr pronto, pronto. I promise I will get to it. Um, yeah, it, there's a lot of research that goes into those videos and stuff, so I want to make sure that they're good, you know, and, and a little bit longer, so you can, so it's something to savor, you know, something you could come back to later on. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you, you know, hit that like button if you would, you know, I don't, I don't care if you do or not, you know, try and reverse psychology on you guys this time. Um, uh, you can also hit the subscribe button if you want to be up to date on whatever any other video we might have coming up, um, and you can follow me. Uh, at video vomit on Instagram, I you know I'm always posting you know pictures of these guys when I buy them and stuff, um, and then I'll I also will be doing a new Zingachi colorway very very soon. Um, whether or not I'm going to do blanks, it's up in the air. I'm not really sure yet, um, but I promise I will have some new colorways very very shortly. Hopefully I will get a new order from Japan of Zingachi soon, and then I can paint them, and then they will be out in the world again. Um, cause right now there aren't that many. I saw some, po po now that we're talking about, I, I saw some Zangachis on eBay already. So I guess that makes me like a real, a real toy maker now, a real Sufubi guy. Cause, cause now my stuff is on, e on eBay, you know, so that's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> so until next time guys, this is Video Vomit signing out. See you later.